Hi there, my name is Robert, and you're watching Tech Spaces Live. And today, and in today's video, we will do a little retro unboxing here. This 2010 15-inch MacBook Pro. Okay, so today is April 13th, 2010, and the- wait, 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 hold on a second. Why am- why is the camcorder filter so strong? We're in 2010, not 1989. So you want me to remove it? Yes, remove it! Okay, sorry. So, today is April 14th, 2010, and Steve Jobs announced the 2010 MacBook Pro yesterday. I managed to get one early, and today we are going to do our unboxing. I'm gonna get this out. Ugh. This is very difficult to get out. Just tilt the box. There we go. We'll set this uh, 15 inch MacBook Pro to the side real quick. Okay, so in the box we have a couple of accessories. We have the charger and Apple from the factory has nicely zip tied this charger for us. You can zoom in here. See that this is a bright yellow green neon zip tie here for the charger. And also have this nicely wrapped extension cable. I'm gonna predict in like 12 years, in 2022, Apple's not gonna include these with their MacBooks anymore. I'm just gonna throw that out there, that's like a future prediction that I'm going to make. Okay, so this is the charger right here. I'm also going to predict that in like five years, Apple will discontinue the MagSafe or something. Okay, and here we have the accessories booklet. Throw this box to the side. Okay, and here we have the Everything Mac, and we have the Apple microfiber cloth. I also predict that Apple won't include these in future versions of MacBooks, so this is really nice to have. And here is just a really nice booklet on how to use it. Also, there's some upgrade information in here on hard drive and memory upgrade. I'm going to put this MacBook Pro on my shelf and wait 12 years and in 2022 I'm going to upgrade this to the max when RAM and SSD prices aren't so high. So, okay, so I have this 2010 MacBook Pro here that I unboxed 12 years ago and today we're going to upgrade this with RAM and a new SSD. cleanly fold this up and I'm going to change the hard drive to a faster hard drive. Uh, this one right here, I have the, the 7200 RPM 500 gigabyte serial ATA hard drive and or SATA hard drive. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and change it in here so that way when I have it up and running it's going to be a faster computer overall. So. Um, the screws out here uh, seem to be just standard Phillips screws, which are really nice because I'm used to working on some newer MacBooks and they have hex screws or those pentalobe screws, I don't know what they call them. Put my fingernails here and so we pry up. And, as you can see, there's so much dust here. This thing has an OWC solid state drive. That's actually really interesting. When I bought this computer off of eBay, um, 
it said that it had a mechanical hard drive in it. Well, apparently the owner, the previous owner, upgraded it and forgot that they upgraded it or something like that. I guess that I don't need to put a hard drive in here. Right here, the dust brush. This dust brush isn't made for small precision electronics. Um, yeah, so, as you can probably tell, I'm not a professional at this, so. Okay. Put this cover back on. Here is the charging brick, and since my wall outlet is very far, far away, I'm going to go ahead and use this extension cable here. Uh, let me get my scissors out so I can cut this zip tie that Apple has left on there. So, this zip tie has finally come off. Now I can plug this in and get it working. Before we do that, actually, let's remove this. So, I've got the charger plugged into the wall now, and I'm just gonna plug that into the computer. So that says, welcome, in just a few steps you can register and set up your Mac. I don't want to set up my Mac using High Sierra, which I think this is because it looks like High Sierra. Um, I want to reinstall macOS Snow Leopard so I can play around with some vintage software. Okay, so I have the macOS 10 Snow Leopard server installed on this SanDisk. Let's boot it up. To launch the booting option menu, uh, I have to hold down the option key when turning it on. And then you can select macOS server install disk. not responding. So as you can see it's been a very long time. I realized why it couldn't boot and it was stuck it was being stuck on the Apple logo. It's because this model of MacBook Pro shipped with 10.6.3 and the version I had on this USB drive right here was 10.6.0. Yay! It worked! I don't know if you can hear me over the loud noise of this computer fan, but what you are seeing here is Snow Leopard server, as you can see, macOS server. It's working now fully on a 2010 MacBook Pro. I'll put up some text on the screen explaining how I did that. And um, if you enjoyed this video and want to see a video in the future on exploring this operating system, because it's a really cool operating system, um, like this video. Uh, if you didn't enjoy it as much, then the other button also works. You can give it a dislike. Um, while you go click those buttons, why not just consider subscribing? It's free. How cool is that? Just subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.